Having good SEO is important to having your website rank well. And Nux makes it very easy to set your SEO meta tags using the SEO meta composable. So right now on this route for our classic margarita pizza, you can see in the title tab what we have is the route or the path of this particular page. Instead of having this, what would be better is if we could include inside of the browser title tab the name of the recipe that we're currently viewing along with our website name. Now to easily implement this into the application, we can open up the Nux Dev Tools and they have a tab called Open Graph. Now this tab is going to inform us of all the tags that we want to apply to our certain page along with a brief summary of what they're doing. And at the moment, since we haven't implemented the use SEO meta composable, we're pretty much missing every single tag that it's requiring. So what we can do is they provide a code snippet in this other tab right here, which we can copy and just paste right into our application. And back inside of our individual recipe page, we can just paste this below our error. And then what we want to do is replace all the static content with data from our API. So for example, for the title, what we can do is we can reference our data from the API. So we can say data, and we want to say dot value because remember this is a ref and we're within the script. And then we have a property called name. And now that we have this set, you can see inside of the browser title, we have the name of the recipe that we're currently viewing. And what's also really nice about the open graph tab is that it gives us insight into how our links are going to look when we share them. So right now with the minimal information we have provided, this is how our Twitter link is going to look. We can look at Facebook and then also LinkedIn. So let's continue to fill out the rest of the details. So for this API, we don't actually get a description. So what we can just do is paste in a static description saying recipes for you to cook. And we can also change this for the OG description as well as our Twitter description. So for the OG title and then the Twitter title, we can just use what we have for our title. So this will be data.value.name. And for the OG image and Twitter image, we can just set this to be the data.value and we have an image that gets returned back from our API and we can just copy this and paste it in for the Twitter image as well. Now for the OG URL, we want to specify the direct path to this page. So right now we have our application deployed to local host. So what we'll do is we can use backticks and then we'll enter our local host URL followed by the path of recipes. And then how we have this set up is it uses the ID. So what we can do is we can say money sign and our brackets and we can say data that value dot ID. And now that we have populated all of our tags, you can see the link preview for how this will look on various platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, and then LinkedIn. And for our homepage to speed things up, what we're going to do is head over to the GitHub repo and we can copy the use SEO meta composable that we have for this page. And back inside of our index.view file, we can just paste that in. And one thing that I didn't make a mistake on is we want to have a slash here for the Twitter image. And for the image, we're just going to be using the hero image that we have within the home page. And one other mistake that I did notice is that we aren't actually on port 3001, we are on port 3000, so we want to change that inside of the individual recipe page as well. 